Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Elena. I'm your Russian American makeup and beauty addict. I'm in LA. I usually do reviews, tutorials, challenges of affordable and expensive makeup from various websites, drugstore, Walmart. I'll test it on myself and I'll pass the savings to you guys. So this is what my channel is about if it's your first time here. So today I just want to do a quick update on the uh, beauty glaze and the asbestos situation. So we want to see uh, what news I've got, which is searchable actually, then keep on watching. So welcome back guys. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, ring the notification bell, I upload three times a week, Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. My uh, Twitter, Instagram, links in description box and well let's get into it. Anyway, so I've been waiting to do update an update because I haven't heard anything from the brand except for that one time that I uh, messaged them on Instagram in private message and I got a response. The thing is the response was a generic response because it was addressed as like something like dear friends. So they're probably approached by millions of people. So I can imagine they cannot respond to every person like individually, except for the people that's uh, probably like bigger on YouTube. So I've been uh, watching Anne Wen's videos. I love the girl. She seems to be very honest. I love her personality. So when I saw her uh, response to asbestos, I'm like, I gotta watch this. So she gave me permission to use screenshots of her receipts. I mean, the information she found in her video, in my video. So I did that in my last video. And then she got a response from them again. So I went to Beauty Glaze, I emailed them and I asked them, can I have the same test results? Of course. Uh, I'm a just chop liver, as I say, <laughs> because I'm a small YouTuber. So they probably got thousands of people emailing them uh, trying to get the answer. So they're probably like, eh, you know. So instead, they released a statement, which I can give it to you. So today on Beauty Glaze website, you can see the statement. Uh, it says, notice. So actually, by the way, if you go to Beauty Glaze, and it has like a three bars menu, go to where it says notice. That's where the information is. So we, as we all know, the asbestos said, hmm, Beauty Glaze, gorgeous me, eyeshadow tray palette is not safe. Then Amazon removed the Gorgeous Me palette and asked us to provide a test report. After one month, we offered the test report of Gorgeous Me. The Gorgeous Me palette is safe. The Gorgeous Me palette is back to stock at Amazon and there's a link URL. Before my manufacturing begins, all raw materials or beauty glaze must be tested for safety, purity, identity, and quality. All beauty glaze is safe. Thank you. Enjoy. So, okay. So, checking the receipts. I did not follow the link. I just went on Amazon, right? So, I'm looking. There it is. Beauty glaze. They have a few listings. And it's actually listed as Amazon Choice. So if you guys don't trust Beauty Glaze, I understand. I'm still kind of like mm, a little iffy, but Amazon is the big, I mean, Amazon is American, right? So you would think they should be aware of the test results themselves and check them for um, authenticity. So I like to believe and trust in good in people and manufacturers. So personally I'd like to believe that it's true I don't like conspiracy theories when it gets out of control and people go oh my god all the makeup is bad bam cancel Amazon cancel Aliexpress cancel Chinese makeup I mean let's stop canceling people unless it's a hundred percent true so asbestos is a dangerous material that can cause cancer if inhaled so I would imagine the eyeshadow can fly and can inhale it so here's the thing, in previous Unwen's video, uh, she showed the papers that actually she got the real 
papers. It either was an email, I think it was from email or was from mail because she showed the actual documents. And I'm going to insert the screenshots. But if you guys are interested, you should really see her video. I'm going to put a link to her video right here, a card, so you can actually watch her video because she shows like the actual uh, documents she got from um, Beauty Place. So what the document said, as I'm inserting here, some of the pictures. That's, those are screenshots from her video, by the way, so you can just go to the source. Um, they tested the palettes for different things. So they tested the makeup for safety, like allergies, so they did the patch test on people, and had like different people, different ages, you know, how you do, so it was proven to be safe. They also tested their makeup for chemicals, and allergens and different like dangerous chemicals not just asbestos and that was proved to be safe too so it was not found so i'm gonna insert some screenshots of that too and again go john wen's video because she's got all the receipts in there <laughs> so she's a source i don't have those documents anyway so and also they sent her certificate for fda approval fda uh, test was done or something so FDA considers their makeup safe also they have something in Chinese in her video she says she can't translate because she doesn't speak Chinese and she couldn't find anybody at the moment who speaks Chinese who could help her well now I went to comments after one of my friends says oh wait somebody in the comments on her video they actually translated it so I went to comments and this person, she says, I can read Chinese and the report in Chinese you showed in 4.10, 4 minutes, 10 seconds, basically says that the test results show there is no asbestos or quartz in the sample, but chloride is found in the sample, 5%. I don't know what chloride is, but I can make my research, I guess. Anyway, I also noticed that the sample was tested in March. So, and then uh, there is another response. It says, I'm not good at chemistry. Unfortunately, I don't know about if the chemicals found in the sample are safe or not. Uh, I just know there is no asbestos or quartz in a sample, but chloride is found, which I don't know if it's safe or not. So this is very interesting because if we trust this test results and look at, the res at what happened with uh, Amazon, Amazon took it back, put it back for sale. So it might be that there are some palettes found with asbestos in it that didn't come from Beauty Glaze. Maybe they're knockoffs. I mean, who knows? So clearly they tested it, if you believe them. Some people don't believe them and say that the documents can be forged. I mean, we don't know. We can speculate. We can uh, make conspiracy theories, but... I like to believe good in people, so I don't know if I'm going to keep on using the makeup I do have because it still kind of leaves bad taste in your mouth. But I want to see in the future if we're going to be repeated reports. I'd like to believe that asbestos is found in that palette by accident in some palettes and small amount because it happens. Asbestos grows along with talc when talc is... Uh, mind so asbestos gets in it by accident and it happened like i said in my previous videos asbestos has gotten makeup before not just beauty glaze but also american makeup so it just happens so let's just hope that the brand took notice and is going to be testing their makeup from now on there are going to be no mistakes like this so i don't know honestly i don't know i cannot tell you guys i cannot tell you whether to use beauty glaze makeup or not just make your own decision but i like to believe good in people like personally so since it went back on amazon and amazon wouldn't be just putting something back up if it wasn't proven to be safe and tested so my opinion just my opinion personally please don't take my word uh to your own you know opinion my opinion i think it should be safe now but again, I'm just going by the, what I see. Like, it's just my opinion from what I see. So from what I see, it could be t safe at this point. So that's all the tea I got. So again, I didn't get any personal responses from Beauty Clays. This is all the information that I gave you now. This can be found. 
on Beauty Glaze website, there is a statement on Amazon, there is a palette that's back. And uh, and one's got all those receipts, so there you go. So if you guys believe it and want to keep using it, do so at your own discretion. Uh, I'm not 100% convinced yet to keep buying from them. I just want to keep watching what happens in the future, like near future, if there's any controversy involved more, and then we'll decide whether we can trust them or not. But I do believe to give a brand a second chance and not to cancel somebody just because of fear, you know. So that's it. I'm just going to leave you with this. Again, I'm sorry that I cannot give you a positive yes, it's safe, or no, it's not. I'm just going by the facts. The facts are it's back on Amazon. The facts are they provided some kind of evidence that has been tested and came negative. Just take it as it is. So, unfortunately, that's all I can give you for now. So, I hope it helps somebody. Uh, just go check out the links. I'm going to provide links uh, to Amazon listing. I mean, just look up. It's there. And the uh, Beauty Clay's website. Uh, this statement is on their website right now. So take care, guys. I hope you enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe and look for more, more fun videos than just asbestos, right? <laughs> so check out my channel. I upload three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I do all kind of colorful looks, not like this. This is like very neutral. I'm about to go grocery shopping in Walmart. That's why, I mean, it's very simple. <laughs> so leave me a comment, like this video if you enjoyed the information, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, with a more bright, interesting topic. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.